All right, so today we're going to be removing and replacing the cutter sections on the sickle bar. This is a pretty easy job to do. You just need a few tools, a hammer, a vise, drift punch, and a metal surface like an anvil. I don't have an anvil, so you're going to see my uh, little work around there. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and get going on this. Okay, for replacement cutter sections, um, just your standard county line, under serrated sections from Tractor Supply Company. See on the back there, they actually have the Ford 515 listed as an application. And they have seven cutter sections um, in my pack here. And of course, you know, I'll just replace the worst seven and then, you know, looking at it, like, oh man, it's hard to pick. So I just went through, um, marked with X's, I guess, you know, the ones that I considered the worst. Gonna go ahead and replace them. So we'll go ahead and um, get these in the vise and knock off the rivets. All right, so the bar is mounted in the vise. Pardon the filthy workbench. Struggling getting cleaned up between projects here. Okay, so, so this bar, the thick, you know, the quarter inch thick bar here is resting on the back side of the vise. Um, you can see this tooth is the one slated for removal and the, it's not tight in there. So it's just enough that we got the pretty much full support on that bar, but you know, we can move it's, you know, the tooth's gonna be able to come out when, once we shear off those rivets. Just get your hammer and then you're just gonna firmly strike the cutter section that you're removing. All right, so there you go. Uh, you saw that, just a couple quick swift sh strikes and just sheared them right off. So now we can go ahead and get them, uh, get that cutter section pulled off. That's all there is to it. Pops right off and we'll go through, uh, and once I get the rest of these uh, sheared off, I'm just gonna go through with the punch and just knock out these uh, loose rotor pieces. All right, if anything, I spent more time uh, just figuring out how to hold the sickle bar in my cramped workshop here, garage here. Uh, so yep, you can see these are the cutter sections sheared off for removal of the remainder. Just use a straight um, punch. And uh, I've already ripped a couple of these, but yeah, just uh, line it right up, give it a tap, knock out the old rivet. Okay, so we're putting on the new cutter sections now. Uh, I don't have an anvil, so my setup is usually just like a couple blocks of wood to get the height space, the height space correctly. And then I just use the head of a maul as my makeshift anvil. Hopefully one day I'll be able to find one at a price that's reasonable. But until then, this is what I do. What we'll be using today is um, standard rivets. Um, if you pick a big pack of these, again, tractor supply. These are number five, those are half inch by nine sixteenths of an inch long. Um, you know, they say on the back there for regular and heavy gauge sections with straight holes, which is what we have. These rivets, we're gonna go through the cutter section like so. Hold them in place, lift up the bar here. It's a little tight, but I'll just tap it in here real quick. Well, that a little tight. That's good, we'll be ready to go. All right, both those rivets in, flip back over. Again, just using my makeshift anvil here. All right, so now we're gonna start peening those over. Those 
definitely be easier um, without my uh, makeshift anvil. But that's already tight. Um, I'm just gonna go a little bit tighter on this one here. Seeming to be, it wasn't quite in all the way. There you go, so not the most beautiful job, but they're peened over. Um, cutter section is nice and tight. Uh, the manual says not to go too incredibly tight because it said you can deform this bar. That'll mess everything up. And uh, yeah, that's all there's to it. Uh, I use ball peen hammer, but I've used regular hammers before. Just kind of work your way around and you know, make that shape. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rip the rest of these on. All right, there we go. Uh, I made anvil, replaced six cutter sections. I went down there that was bolted on. Um, I decided to just not muck with it. Um, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna leave one extra in the box. And yeah, that's all, just a few minutes. Um, slightly tired arm. Technique that I found for riveting here that worked well was with the flat side, you know, like three strong hits, three strong hits, three, three. At that point, it's pretty well kind of expanded the metal. And then I'll flip it over um, on the peening side and then just go back and forth. Just you know, a lot nicer if you have a tool that forms the rivet, but I don't have that. So, you know, just spend a little bit of time trying to peen, it over, peen over the head there. And yep, that's, that's my technique. If you have some special magic that works for you, it gets a beautiful rivet head, definitely uh, feel free to share it down below. Um, I'm sure there's always a improvement that we can do. Get, this, get the knife reinstalled and get this project wrapped up here for today.